So welcome back. I think we're on episode four. We're going to take a quick look at some building now. So this will be sort of like a crash course. Might split it up into a few parts. Thanks for watching the previous videos if you did. And uh, right, so right in front of us here we have a bunch of colours. And I wanted to quickly touch on colours before we even put any blocks down. So obviously we've got the grey scales. They're in shadow and lit with the uh, weaker lights. And then we've obviously got the full range of colours. These are the colours that you can just you can just use. They're in the palette. I'll show you in a sec. But down here, this this thing here, these are all custom colours. Now, every ship has an ID panel. Or you can put a nameplate. This is how you change the name of the... Uh, We'll show you how to do this, but effectively, once you look at here, this identity plate, obviously put the name, but here we have paints. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just desaturate. Let's see, desaturate, he says. Well, let's just turn, let's turn all of the, um, let's bring it down on all of them and you'll see what's going on and this way you can get any colors you want and i believe they actually save so maybe oh, went a bit farther <sighs> was that one supposed to be white oh well so i think you get the point if we desaturated them all too much hang on a minute it a bit more so you can see well anyway just from tweaking all of those and they think that's a save it's completely changed this uh, this set so if you build your ship in a whole bunch of colors you can just change them on the fly it's a little bit garish so I'm just gonna get rid of that red um, make that white okay so with that out of the way, uh, that's a basic introduction to the custom colouring system. We'll show you how to actually get the nameplate and where you put it and everything. Um, so that's all the colours done and then we can move on to actual block placement. So first thing you need to know is every entity starts with a starter block. And the starter block looks like that okay that's its own entity and we can build off of this so if i just get a basic hull block which you can get from this tab okay if you want to see all the different blocks we did a block shapes video in episode one okay so we're going to just take the block here i've already got all the shapes and the way i've done it is i've simply clicked on it clicked on the one i want and press the one key click on the next one i want press the two key and so on. I think we've got a slightly different type of hull there, so you can see they've changed. Okay, so if I just right click to put the block down, left click three, well it's, I think it's three, three clicks of the left, but you can hold it to be precise. It's like one, two, three, and it's gone. So right click to place, left click to pick it up. It does matter which face you press on, for the advanced sort of how to build in a line so we'll cover that now if you right click and hold it you see there's a a wheel coming around it now if I press control and then move to the right with the D key it'll just extend it out that way if I want to go that way that way or if I come and orient myself here and move to this side it'll so you can build line lines but it won't go up or down and the reason is because you want to start on a face like on the side so it'll go up or it'll go up down left right from here and then from this face again press control once and it goes left and right and up and down but it won't go forward and back you see so you've got to get it on the face if i want to go that way it's this face if I want to go and it might it, it doesn't really make much difference just for a line 
but when you get into making because if I go and hold it press control and make a line if I now press control again it's going to start making a plane and the uh, obviously it's you know the direction of the plane is determined on which face control Z to back to go one back it's quite useful undo command so if I wanted to make a plane that went up I'd have to start on this face so I'd go out and then control again and up and I'm just holding right click the whole time okay so just to go over that again if I want to make a line it's right click and hold then press control once still holding right click and then move in the direction you want to go I find moving's more reliable you can just look but sometimes it'll go off that way so I like to do that and then obviously I would have started on the top face if I wanted to make a plane that's parallel with that face that's the easiest way to remember it so obviously if I want to make a, a plane that's going like a wall here I'd hold it there come out hold it again and go up and then we've got our face so like I say it's all about the face that you start on and remember this wheel as well it doesn't matter so much with a cube but if we get a wedge I can show you the orientation it's super easy again depends on the face that you're starting on it'll default to the face so it's default to the bottom there you can see this little wheel with degrees around it and as you can see on this edge it's that way on this edge it's that way that way and that way so you can figure out which way round you want it and again if you want to make a, a line so you set the direction you want hot still holding right click press control and then move another little tip you can use is pressing control R which will repeat the last thing you built so it's indicated by this blue box and we can use that to sort of do a lot of wedges quickly so that's a useful little command control Z to get rid of that and we'll just look at that one more time so once you're in this if you just change blocks and go back it'll cancel the repeat so again the orientation of the block is set by the face that you click on and while you're holding it you can rotate around so if I was to just click on that edge it's going to be that way if I'm going to click on this edge it'll be that way so you don't necessarily have to hold it each time you can kind of get a feel of which way round it's going to go okay so if you look at this block here maybe I want it to go a different way so you can roll with the metal mouse wait there it, there it is and it'll go to the side it's a little bit more obvious with a different block hang on so if I just use this wedge you can see here that it's always going to have the base touching where I started so if I roll my middle mouse it'll move the base to this side so then I can get these sorts of shapes in okay and if you roll it'll cycle through the three different bases while you just keep holding right click on that block so we can get something like that going on okay uh, all useful stuff so now we know how to place blocks we know how to destroy blocks how about mass destruction so we'll just make a quick line make a wall here oh well whoops I picked the wrong face anyway if you press right click and left shift you can then draw out an area press it again and it'll let you do the plane so I'll just do that one more time control is what you use to build the plane control then control for the two different directions you want to go in and then to destroy them you press left shift and hold it then left click and move when you get to the end release left shift press it again and then you got you got the plane 
Just it's just like control, but there's a few sort of little niggles. But this is very early pre-alpha. I did put the version at the beginning of the video. Every time it updates, we'll change it so that we're up to date. So yeah, that's pretty much block placement. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. First of all, we've got symmetry. Everyone always wants to know how to do symmetry. Symmetry is in the system blocks. It's the mirror block. Okay. I tend to use this one. But there is also this one for the offset mirrors. If you want to go and do it that way. I tend to go down the middle. But anyway, we'll show you how that works. So you right click. And then again, this is why we looked at placing the blocks first. When you hold it, you can choose which direction it's going to go on. So if I want the symmetry down the middle, I'm going to do it that way. If I want it across front to back, I do that way. And if I roll it, we can have it top and bottom. So put it down and it'll give you symmetry as long as you leave it on the block, on the ship. So as you can see, it's... It's doing top and bottom for me if I get rid of it and you can use all three of them together if I put this one on now it's going to give me left right okay and then obviously the only one we haven't done would be that one and do do but anyway so that's your symmetry block. Let's get rid of this quick. Okay, which leaves leads us to how do you actually make something that can move? So the most basic way of doing it, as far as I can tell, we're going to need a couple of blocks for this. So you need a ship core. Obviously, you needed the starter block, but you can remove the starter block. You need an engine. We'll put them down first so the ship core if you click and then go forward so the bottom and then forward the ship's facing that way you can invert the controls by placing it upside down but um, we're effectively just going to put like this and then we'll well why not we'll just put an engine on the back there we go and then we'll get one of the chairs. It's a good time to take a look at the chairs. You press F. And then your character is sitting in the chair. Okay. In this chest, I've got all the ch all of the chairs. They're actually under sub-menu. So if you click on that one, you'll just get the chair. But if you see these ones here, we have a sort of thinner chair. We have just the back. So you don't actually need to have the bottom part of the seat. It's a little bit more compact. We have the cushion, which goes on the chairs. And then we have the ladder. Um, I don't know if you actually can climb up it, but hey, that, it, that's where the ladder is. Okay. So let's just open this up and... Uh, mm, all right, it won't... Okay. Shift and roll the mouse is what allows you to change between your toolbars at the bottom. Probably should have mentioned that earlier, but there, there it is. Um, so we're going to take this chair and this cushion. Okay, uh, I don't think maybe that's the wrong type of cushion. We'll see. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the seat. So again, you can see I'm going to face it backwards to make it face forwards for the for the seat you just roll it around and rotate it if I put the cushions on there and then we're going to need some controls I don't even know if you can so first I'm going to need some studs so studs are under construction bricks flat panel okay so let's just put some studs on there and then we're going to use some small cubes which are all listed here I've got all of the subtypes, so I've got a couple of them just there. You just, uh, as I said earlier, you just click on it and then click the slot you want. Obviously, I've already done that. 
if I just switch number three and number four around, you can see that's pretty simple. You can click and drag it as well, so you don't have to do what I'm doing. So let's just put two things there, nice and easy. You can remove the stud at the moment. I don't know. I mean, obviously, if things change, give diff will give a new sort of new advice. But here we go. So I'm going to go into the control sticks now and take a joystick. So they're under system bricks, control stick, and you should really just dive around and have a look. Just remember that some of these have multiple options inside them. OK, so we're going to take the joystick. It works. I like the joystick. OK, and then put that on there, get two of them, and then you right click on this input device and you link it to your ship core. As long as you have one engine in this pre-alpha build, it'll let you move. There's likely to be systems put in later in the game, so obviously you'll need to build something a little bit more complicated. But the uh, this is the ascent, this is the system essentially. So you can spend a lot of time and build some ships down here. These come in the uh, in in the in the uh, game. So if I press F on the seat, it's going to put me in the chair and for some reason I'm zoomed in and can't do anything about it and then if I push F on the joystick I'll start to fly away and uh, WASD to sort of turn and roll and things like that and uh, yeah so we'll press the brackets close and open brackets to, to speed up and slow down and here we are on my flying chair. It's not amazing, I know, but hey. So we'll just go back over to the demo. So if I press the close brackets, you can see my speed slowing down. Oh, oh, we're getting a little bit disoriented here. I need to mess with my bindings, I think. So if I now press Alt when I'm going slowly in the standard, it'll switch to maneuver. When you're in maneuver, you just sort of move around really slowly. It's like a little docking thing. You can't really tell I'm moving up here, but if I press F and then F again to actually get off the chair, that'll disengage me from the ship and the seat. F4 is what I'm using to zoom it to, uh, you know, come outside the player. So that's all very well and good, but it just shows you that you need a control attached to the ship core and then you need one engine and a, a seat is nice you don't need a seat but you can sit there and you know it's easier to actually fly the vehicle okay so when you're moving around you've got a few options using the open and close brackets you can actually speed up your character quite a lot okay so we can really get moving um, and then obviously closing them will make you go slower okay so that's useful for getting around but also if I just put a teleporter down so there's my teleporter if I just chuck this here there's no power in the game yet okay so at the moment everything just works but as this develops we'll look at it again so if I see here the name is how to platform if I press if I just sort of yeah let's just go away so we're all the way over here now if I press F7 I can see how to platform click on that and then it'll just spawn me here which is quite nice because if you get lost and you have a teleporter on your ship or if you lose your ship as long as it's spawned it should still be uh, teleportable too so that's useful okay so we've checked out the ship core we've check, checked out the thrusters what else is there we've got this identity block so we took a quick look at that if you take the identity block you simply place it on the structure it doesn't need to stay on the structure you just put it on right click and then you can put your name in and it's good because otherwise you'll just get one of these entity underscore random and they can overwrite each other so it's good to get into the habit of renaming your blueprints and again 
you got the paints here and it gives you some basic information on your mass okay there's also the 3d model thing but i haven't used that so anyway you can remove this afterwards it doesn't need to be on there once you've named it and we'll move on to the next thing we've looked at the start this uh this one here this is obviously your starter block you need that to actually build anything to start any entity but you can remove it after you've started building you've also got the ship core uh obviously if you want to use like we built that little thing there it's uh you put that on and it determines where up down left and right is this is why i built it you know like from the bottom was it there we go this is why we sort of dragged it forward okay let's move on the engine uh engines actually merge which is pretty cool um i don't think they're directional yet but like i say it's all pre-alpha but at the moment if you put them together they'll kind of blend which is pretty cool and you just place them in the direction you want them to point so put it on that face and it'll go that way pretty simple but you only really need one at the moment so like i say that's all coming we've looked at the mirror block uh the power block is um doesn't actually i don't think it actually works at the moment because at the moment it seems like everything just has power but there is a power system in the works and you never know we might see something about that before new year's teleporter block i've already showed you you pretty much put it down on on an entity and then you can press f7 warp to the entity storage boxes right click they have storage at the moment it's all creative mode so you don't really need storage but hey it's there it is uh, these seats have a few more micro slots on we'll look at studs in a bit as you can see here are the studs so i could do something like this obviously i'm not really it's not very complicated but hey so there we go we could do something like that and then where's that cushion gone put the cushion on and then we've got something we've got something going on like that you put the joystick there a couple of buttons that kind of thing 